Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super low bass drum kick, one that has sub bass in it, a sub bass kick. So first, I got FL Studio open up, get your favorite kick in the whole world. I'm not going to get my favorite one, but I'm going to get mm, Soul Bounce. Sounds interesting. Yeah, that one has too much hat. Let's use this one. Okay, so then you get it, it's right there. Right click it and go to edit in audio editor. Then Edison should pop up. I like to make it bigger like this. And then what you do, just select all this empty space past it. Go to run generators, sign generator. And then since right now we're gonna make a super low wave. And it's just going to sit there for now. Since um, this part right here, frequency, let's do frequency first. So frequency, if you want it to be a sub bass, you got to put it on like 50 frequency. 90 frequency would be around where a normal low kick is, but sub bass, you want it to be 50. Volume, since the volume over here, from here, this line here to here is one volume, and this one is about half. So to make sure our sub isn't louder than the actual kick, we're gonna put it at exactly half, which is 50. Then hit run. There is your, your sub wave. Let's listen to it right quick. Mm, that's delicious. Yeah. Okay, so now you're gonna attach it to your favorite kick by doing this. <coughs> You see where, that's that kick. So you see where this starts? It's like that, right up to where this should end. So let's have it end around here and turn into sub. And then you gotta make sure that this is going down while this one is going up. So you don't have one that's going up and the one that's going up because that'll just be odd. Then you delete that red space and there we have it. So. Let's listen to it now. Okay, so that's what a kick sounds like right now. Obviously, we don't want it to sound like that because then it sounds like a normal note. It needs to go down in volume as it progresses. So select all the way from the end of it to right about where the sub wave starts. And then hit fade out, which is right up here. If you're not maximized in Edison, you can go to Tools, Fade Out. So now, it automatically fades it out for you. Now, hit play. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And that's what it sounds like with the sub bass. That's beautiful. Okay, so now you know how to make a sub bass kick. Before you leave today, I have to show you this really cool thing. It's a drum set made out of watermelon. I just love this thing. First of all, when you're hungry, you can eat strawberries and grapes. And then second, you can actually play drums with it. Like, you can actually sit right there and play drums with it as long as you want. And then eat it afterwards. Had to show you that. Now you know how to make a kick. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, please.